I thought I'd share with you um, a T-34 battle I had this morning. It's um, Christmas Eve, and uh, it shows the incredible um, effect of Coca-Cola. <laughs> Which is what I'm putting this down to. But uh, I'm in my um, Payware Heavy T-34. I don't see so many of them now because people have been playing World of Tanks for a long time and so I suppose they've got um, they've got uh, they've worked their way up to the higher ranks than the T-34 just by playing playing games um, for on highway I'm by no means the best or the worst tank in this setup and uh, the enemy is down here now the thing about highway is that there is naturally quite a good right flank and there's quite a big hill for the enemy to get up and so they very rarely choose to do a frontal assault and um, so what happens is that both sides tend to head into the town and sort of duke it out and then if uh, you win the battle in the town if you're starting in the northeast then you can head west into their base uh, pretty well unopposed so um, everyone's bombing in down the railway track I'm going to cut left and stick to the left hand edge and you can see I'm sort of fairly far ahead of everyone here apart from that Pershing that's doing the scouting but because he's he's rather excellently scouted in there I know that there's no enemy there so I'm going to um, take a punt and uh, head in and here I'm just looking at this uh, this alley and using the um, sniper view now you can see that, that there's an enemy tank destroyer and he's um, decided to come into the town as well but at the moment we still don't know whether the bulk of their main force has moved north or east uh, and if you look at the minimap you still can't tell so I spot everybody coming down this road so I and of course it's right up the, against the edge of the map so I'm thinking okay and I have a YOLO moment here because uh, they're all stopped now normally in tanks if people stop you stop because they I'm, I'm one of the worst players and so um, but anyway, I think, no, okay, that guy's just fired, everyone's probably hiding, so I'm going to risk running across here, and sure enough, I get spotted. And there's five tanks there, and uh, quite a few of them have a, have a pot at me, and so immediately I've got, uh, my fuel tanks have blown up and I've damaged the track. But I've got across to the corner, and this warehouse here provides quite excellent cover. We're, we're, one, we're one up, so... One of the annoying things about World of Tanks is you almost go nil one down. Now I've been spotted but I can't work out why so I'm going to tuck in the corner here and just wait because again this is one of the best tactics for winning in World of Tanks is to flank the enemy and uh, flanking always works really well so I'm going to just sort of pop out here and see what I can see. Uh, not much, everything's in cover so I'm, I'm going to hang on because I know that these guys, they're engaged in the battle with the rest of my mates over to, to my right. So <laughs> I pop out and uh, have a go at one and uh, fortunately I've got the side of the other tanks is presenting themselves to me because they're having to keep their faces left. Uh, although I do take a shell myself so this time I'm, again I'm poking out a little bit and get a pretty good roll, 746. Um, still um, just using normal ammo at the moment then I think what I do is I shift over to the premium rounds because I'm thinking I've got some pretty good uh, opportunities to pick tanks off from the side here so two to me now so all of a sudden it's 6-0 I'm the high scorer and we've actually polished that lot off because they can't take the damage from the side and also from the front so now we're like a pack of wolves now <laughs> this is it so we um i mean we you do have the high ground here if you start in the northeast i must say the enemy does have a, a literally an uphill battle but we're doing really well and of course we're buoyed by our success and our eight nil um score line we're we're looking at other targets and there's one there so we another 850 thanks to the premium ammo and i'm three three uh, a three up now at this point it's nine nil and we're thinking you know this is going rather well there are only six enemy tanks left and most of them are below us and we've got a pretty good um, 
a sight into them. This one I'd noticed from a long way away and uh, yeah, managed to bag him as well. Uh, and at this point it's a bit of a duck shoot. Now it's got a... Um, yeah, that was my worst shot of the whole match. I think I, I could have had him if I'd um, not sort of jerked, but I, I just... I just knew he was going to go and then someone else got him so I didn't um, so anyway we're 14 nil at this point and I think you could say this is pretty much um, the way to deal with this map if you're starting in the northeast uh, from then on it's pretty much a foregone conclusion the enemy must have been pretty disappointed and I'm probably not too sure about what happened there but I think the I'm not I'm not claiming um, I'm not claiming credit for the entire victory, but I think the fact that uh, they were flanked at the beginning really upset them, you know. They didn't know. A tank that's taking fire from two sides is a dead tank, basically. And that's it. Last one goes, and it's 15-0. Um, so if you ever play this, um, I, hope that's, uh, I hope that's helpful.